Hi, I'm Maggie Lakowski from Maggie Moon Tarot. And today I wanted to share with you the May Witch's Moon box. So let's go ahead and take, um, but first I'll do a mini reading. I'm gonna be using Lisa Hunt's um, Fairy Tale on a Mon. Let's see if I have some water here, I don't. I'll have to just clear my throat. And so she has a fairy tale tarot. Um, I, I think another, uh, edition is coming out. She released one some years back and I have that one and then uh, it was it went out of print. So I think she's doing some updates on it. Uh, she has a, some amazing. So let's pick a couple cards. Okay, we have the sun, and the mountain, and the moon. Two cosmic cards. So the sun as our first card. So the sun is usually a, a card of warmth, but I also feel this is actually because it's a fairy tale that shows um, Sleeping Beauty. I feel the sun brings uh, light to things. And what would it bring light to today for us? Well, whoops, the mountain came next. The mountain was a card. So the mountain can be some challenges, some things we're kind of stuck up against. Let's switch them this way, the reversed. So the sun can bring some light into this challenge or area. And the last card is the moon. And the moon can be about um, how things turn out, our reputation. It's also a soul, it's also a cosmic card. So with this, we've got um, some light shed on this situation. So we are going to be able to improve it. So this shows an improvement. It's also got a bright light, the moonlight. This is a full moon. And they, you see the carriage going towards the castle. So this is, can be about love, beauty. Um, so maybe just have some, even though you know, we come up against some things, uh, you know, the warmth of the sun, um, just having some softness around that situation. Um, we know it's going to be resolved with the moon here because um, our integrity, who we are, and, and really how we see ourselves in this situation and others, um, this is a, this is a positive card between these two. So just a little mini reading. Her cards are so pretty on the back. Yeah, they are. So the witch's moon for me. So I always have. So we do have we have a um, card. We have a sigil. Usually the dot shows the top. Of the, of the sigil. We have artwork, the honeymoon, June, full moon. And then we have table of alchemical symbols. So this will be, um, this is very interesting. This is, it's got the um, zodiac signs, all, type, all types of alchemical sy symbols. So this is a great thing to have out um, put in our book to study. And let's take a look and see what this month's theme is. They always give you some uh, an extra piece of paper at the end to write anything down. And the theme of this is the alchemist. And, sa and it says, found within uh, magical practices and ideas, there is a common goal to turn energy and intentions into manifested realities. Um, and in turn, continue our journey towards perfection and purity through elixirs, connections, concoctions, herbal blends, incense, formulated intentions, we find transformation is truly possible. And so it's, it's kind of like what we saw in the cards, we saw the sun and be able to um, transform that mountain, that block or that challenge into coming into the, into the moon, into the moonlight. So in this collection, um, let's take a look and see what we have. We have some herbs, marshmallow root, wild cherry bark, and the dead sea salt. And so we'll be using these in our um, in the uh, ritual or the what they have. Uh, the spell that you want to work with, what maybe you want to create. And cherry wood is known in many, um, is used to attract, is, is used to attract in love rituals. Black cherry, uh, cherry bark carries with it a strong essence 
of the needed passion for those who work in, with its natural form. We specifically included the spark for, for the collection to bring about good luck during the rituals and spell casting. And as you include this bark with your tincture, allow its energies to boost um, its intention for the ritual work and then marshmallow root. I think we got this in a, a different box is um, it's a protective herb and it can provide a shield. It also has good luck. Um, and it's, it's helpful. It's helpful guides and spirits within this um, herb to comfort and assist us in, in accomplishing our goals. And then we have the Dead Sea Salt. Which, um, it's known for its healing properties found in the Middle East. And it can be cleansing. We can use it for cleansing, um, banishing, allowing its natural elements to break down to any, any negative or unwanted energies. So we've got this with the box. We have the Lilith and the sea salt. This is from the Dead Sea and it's known for its healing properties and it has, um, let's see, I'm, I believe this is, I'm sorry, this is a, let's take a look. This is the, this is on the other page, I think. We'll come to it because I want to see what it has some it has some interesting herbs in this. It has a beautiful smell to it. Um, we'll come back to it. We'll see it. And this must just be missing it. I use the salts a lot in ritual work, detective work. Um, and here is a vessel. So this will be used and it has um, a pentagram, a pentacle carved into it. It has kind of, I don't know if you can see, it kind of has maybe in this light, it's kind of like a light green. The box, it is, and it's beautiful. Let me read a little bit about it, holding it up. Oh, this is here, I found this, uh, this sacred sea salt. This is a little salt. And they um, created it for the Midsummer Sabbath. And in this salt uh, is orange, rose, bergamot oils, as well as hyssop, lavender, St. John's wort, and Hathorn, Hathorn her herb. We've, they've also included a mixture of the Midsummer Magical Oil for that time of year for a celebration that you might be doing. And then let's take a look at the, um, so this particular, it's a hand-blown alchemical vessel with sample rod. I don't see that, but maybe we'll find that in there. And so it says a wonderful and vast subject. Alchemy is almost impossible to cover completely in such a limited space. So um, let's take a look and talk about this particular vessel here. Um, the hand-blown a chemical vessel was created exclusively for the subscribers of the Witch's Moon and um, it was created for the purpose, uh, it's a practical tool to create elixirs, may hold your intentions within physical form acting as an incubator. This practice can be as simple as charging water under the light of the moon or allowing a simple herbal ingredients to sit and communicate with each other through a calculated period of time. And so you can use this with the herbs that they have included. This over here. Pop back on. And you have your honeymoon incense for the honeymoon in June. This is. Okay, the sigil was created specifically for this collection to enhance the energies of transformation into your workings and practices placed beneath your vessel. So underneath, um, as it contains, as, as, as the contents 
condense, mix, and become one. This sigil can be created within your own book of shadows, carved upon a magical tool, or painted on talisman of transformation for success. So it's, it was created to enhance the energies of transforming your work. Take a look. And we have a card with it, an oracle card. Um, and this is a card from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. This is the back, that's beautiful. And it's 18 spirals of manifestation. And for this particular oracle card, um, it's by Alana Fairchild as the artwork. Um, no, the Oracle deck is by Elena Fairchild. The artwork is by Autumn Sky Morrison. And let the message um, take hold for you, reflect on its wisdom, and let it resonate and speak to you um, for what you're working on or a particular time. Look how beautiful it is. It's got a, like a wise one, a person, and then a child, like your inner child. This says spirals of manifestation. So this goes well with this card because... Um, the spirals are seen, the spiral symbols in, in just many cultures, and it is about manifestation. So we go in, we go in cycles too. That's the other thing. Um, sometimes we're high on the cycle, and then just like the water um, ebbs, you know, wanes, like the moon is, you know, the new moon, the, um, you know, then it comes to the full, and then the dark moon, and it's just like the water, the waves come in and out. So we have ebbs, ebbs in our life and these, these spirals. So we want to work towards, if we're working towards something, you know, we're working with the spiral in the direction that we want to manifest. So just meditating with this card. I'm going to check out this deck because this looks like it's a pretty interesting. So this may resonate with you with something that's going on, maybe where you're at um, right now. So let's take a look at what else we have. Um, scissors because this is not going to come out easily. This is a crystal quartz, quartz crystal. It says as a quartz crystal is one of the most programmable crystals. Um, quartz crystals carry within it the ability to hold your intentions and transfer them seamlessly throughout space. Quartz crystal is multidimensional stone allowing you to Amplify, oh, this is a beautiful one. Look at the points here on this side. Is to amplify your energy and as well as keep a recorded memory of intentions and will. This wonderful crystal could be used for almost any metaphysical purpose, including but not limited to healing, um, guide communication and seeking energetic balancing for your consciousness. So this really, um, it's the chakras. It says all chakras it works with because it is such a um, programmable stone and its elemental correspondence is storm. And I always feel like this is the grandmother's stone. It holds a lot of wisdom. So this is beautiful in the collection. We will see we have psychic. Okay, and the anointing oil. Let's see what is in this. Purity of gold, magical anointing oil. And with the intention of nurturing the energy of gentle perfection. As you anoint your magical tools, visualize an ambient gold light surrounding you. As with the characteristics of gold, this energy is malleable, soft, purifying the sense of perfection and completion. We have enhanced this oil with ginger, orange, frankincense, myrrh, oils, rosemary, ground sage, herbs, myrrh, resin also, and there's a quartz in there. Um, yeah, that, that's got a beautiful smell. I love that. So here we go. It's got the ah, sun and the moon, kind of like our, oops, kind of like our um, one of on cards <laughs> from the fairy tale tarot. So that is the oil. And 
two other three other oh, two other items. This would be the candle. Let's take a look and see what this particular candle. Um, it's a spell candle. With the spell work. Oh, this is a golden candle, a yellow candle, a golden candle. I have one in the back there. It's not lit by the angel. Um, I love yellow and golden candles. I do some specific work when I use these. Usually, creativity is a great one for this. Um, I have some other things that I do. And then our last, let's see about the last. Oh, here we go. Here is the wand. The wand we were talking about. Oh, wow. Well, this is this is gorgeous. This is, and it has the green tinge. Now you can see maybe a little bit of the green, maybe because where I'm holding it. And so this is the wand for the vessel for the top. It's beautiful. Well, this is fabulous and with your protection symbol on it so this is definitely what a beautiful surprise and i just love this uh the artwork on the table of alchemical symbols and you've got the um, infinity or luminous symbol up here so you can see some of the symbols and then the other piece of artwork is about the honeymoon that's coming up other moon names are the, let's see, the strawberry moon, the planting rose moon. So they've got in the magical beings um, around this time. They've got the animals, the bee, the bear, the butterfly, cattle, crab. And so it's got a picture of all this magical intention, stones and crystals um, to use botanicals and these are the botanicals they've included in here. Some of the animals are seal, robin, toad, wren, octopus, owl, kingfisher, hummingbird, meadowlark, goldfish, dragonfly, hare, horse, peacock. So this is amazing. Um, I know, is there anything else that we need to look at about this? Um, oh, it says um, they've engraved in the um, in the vessel here, it's engraving um, of the pentacle on the neck of the vessel to represent spirit as well as our deep and intimate connection, connect so that we connect with the elements, um, protecting and always guiding us. So we implore you to continue the never ending journey towards achieving divine protection. Allow yourself to become empowered by your achievements, motivated by the challenges, that um, mountain card and um, that will come and be enlightened by the wisdom that will be granted to you by this process. So what a beautiful collection. So you can find me at um, maggiemoontarot.com and I'm a reader of all cards of, um, and I do charm casting. Um, I'm a healer, I'm a Reiki master and I work with the body's energy and I'm also a numerologist, I do charts. So a variety of things. Um, so thank you for coming. Thanks for stopping by. And until we meet again, as always, 